Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the Ukrainian Ministry of Internal Affairs, the Russian military aircraft went down on April 3, 2022 after being hit by a missile of the Ukrainian armed forces. The fighter caught on fire immediately and fell down. While this was a big setback for Russia, it comes as a morale boost for Ukrainian forces as Su-35 is the most advanced dogfighter of the Russian Air Force. The recent offensive strikes by Russia have turned many Ukrainian cities into rubble and has significantly weakened the air defenses of Ukraine. However, the Ukrainian forces were still able to brought down the Russian Su-35 near the city of Izum, about 75 miles east of Kharkiv, a region that has seen intense fighting in the past weeks. According to the reports, the Su-35 was performing seed mission, that is, suppression of enemy air defense, in which it aimed to destroy the Ukrainian air defense system and missiles. Seed is considered as the most difficult air combat mission. It's like the fight of snake and mongoose. The fighter was shot using the Ukrainian surface-to-air missile system. However, the pilot was able to eject successfully, but later detained. The fighter jet was identified to be Su-35 with its canardless feature and wingtip mounted electronic countermeasure systems which is not there in other Russian fighter. The Su-35 features Airbus E passive electronically scanned array radar, infrared search and track and Kibini radar jamming system. One of the two aircraft reportedly deployed in the conflict has been captured armed with KS-31 anti-radiation missiles along with R-77 and R-73 air to air missiles. So the bigger question is, what killed the world's most advanced dogfighter? As per reports, the Su-35 appeared to have gone down from a very low attitude. Low attitude flight is always a vulnerable zone for any fighter jet. The reason for the massive casualty of Russian aircraft is said to be Soviet-era surface-to-air missile S-125 Neva, also known as Pechora. It came first in service between 1961 to 1964. This system has participated in almost every modern conflict. It has countless kills against various adversaries including US Air Force F-16 in 1991 south of Baghdad, US MQ-1 Predator in 2015 by Syria, but the most important kill scored by this air defense system was of US first stealth fighter F-117 Nighthawk. On March 27, 1999, during the Kosovo War, the US Nighthawk was shot down by Yugoslavian Army using S-125. I would say it's the most feared missile by US Air Force and that's the reason you could see this missile even in action in the recent trailer of Top Gun Maverick at 1 minute and 59 seconds. This missile system has been the backbone of Indian Air Force but has been heavily upgraded regarding which we will discuss in a short while. S-125 Pechora is a Soviet-era surface-to-air missile defense system which is almost 60 years old now. Indian Air Force operates 30 Pechora units. It can be uniquely identified by its quadruple launcher which hosts 4 V-600 or 601 missiles. The V-600 missile can carry a warhead of 60 kg with a range of 15 km and V-601 has a warhead of 70 kg with a range between 3.5 to 35 km with interception altitude as low as 100 m to 18 km. The long range surveillance and target acquisition is handled by the van mounted P-15 flat face radar. The P-15 radar has been replaced in many S-125 units by P-15M squat I radar which has the antenna mounted on a 20 to 30 meter mast for improved low altitude coverage. The accompanying PRV-11 side net E-band height finding radar has a range of 180 km covering targets at altitudes of up to 32 km. One thing is definitely clear that these systems even though being 60 years old technology works pretty well even in modern combat scenarios. Back in 2016, Indian Air Force has released an RFI to upgrade its S-125 Pechora SAM. The contract worth Rs 590 crore was won by Alpha Design Technologies, a Bengaluru-based defense and aerospace company in the year 2020. 
The system is expected to be upgraded in a span of four years along with Russian collaboration. The overall cost of upgrade will be less than procuring a new system and will add additional life of 10 to 15 years to these surface to air missile system. The SAM will be fully digitized and integrated with Integrated Area Command and Control System IACCS. The systems will receive upgraded guidance radar, full digitizing of SAM system, enhancements of communications and networking, upgrade of target acquisition systems. The upgradation will have a large number of indigenously developed equipment such as radar transmitter, thermal image based electro optical system, communication system, upgradation of drive chain, control cabin, shelters, cables, etc. Under the upgradation project, Alpha Design will be upgrading 16 Pechora systems. The company expects to bag 8 more systems under the option clause in the contract by undertaking this upgrade successfully. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.